Hello, my friends, and welcome to part 23 of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Solomo Dex Overview, where I'll go for, through the final deck of the Rika Fairies Ascend Solomo Gate. Okay, let's get right into this. Oh, yeah. But before we begin totally, um, please um, subscribe if you haven't, and if you have, please comment down below. You can either comment to my pin comment that I'm doing um, every video now I'm, that I'm eventually um, getting on. You can wait for that. It should only take like a day at most like um, for, for, for me to get it um, a few days. It should be there. Um, or you can just leave your own unique comment. Or you can do both if you want. Um, this deck is called Rika of Entwined Force. And the deck description reads, A deck that uses Sylvan and Rika in combination to flip through a set number of cards from the top of your deck to activate powerful effects. If a card sent to the graveyard by the effect of a Sylvan card has an effect that can be activated in the graveyard, like that of Hellebore the... Rika Fairy, you can use this to play multiple monsters at once. High rank see monsters that may appear challenging to special summon can be special summon from your extra deck using the effect of Rika Queen Strena. Try to use this method whenever possible. Oh yeah. A few things, um I'll still cycle through the cards I already went over in part nineteen. Um, but I will um not really like talk about them okay let's get into this though okay so this one is the first sylvan card um and you can feel free to pause if you need a better look anyway this one allows you to the basically is sylvan's all about excavating and giving you some kind of advantage if you happen to excavate a plant anyway Oh yeah, they also gain advantage um, if they excavate themselves. Oh, and for this one, if it's excavated itself, you get to special summon a level four lower plant. Generally, you like the ones that excavate more cards, but this one lets you excavate two. Like you always want to go for the bigger number. I guess the one time you wouldn't is if you were like running low on card. This one allows you special summon a level one plant from your deck. Uh, it doesn't say accept itself though, so you could like special summon another one. So might as well go for another cherub sprout since like that's probably gonna be your best one, I think. You could also go for the Rika monster that's level one too if you wanted. Um Silver Snap Drass and Nagan. So either way you get to excavate a card with this. So that's pretty cool. And then Sylvan Princess Sprout. Um allows you to excavate the top card but this time you get you you get a bonus effect which kind of helps make up for the fact that's only excavating one card um because you get to place a sprout monster on the top of your deck so pretty much this or there might be other sprouts but like that basically gives you a guaranteed um plan on the top of your deck which is pretty nice and then also, um, you get to change this, le this one's level. It's kind of like a, a spore, but it's a non-tuner. But you don't have to banish a monster in order to spell some of this out. And then, yeah, there's that. And then the Sylvan Komashrumo. Um, this one is crazy because he actually lets you excavate five which i think is the highest amount you can excavate with this sylvan card so that's pretty great but if you excavate more than one of these which you only have one but if you had multiples like you could um target multiple spell or traps and then martial leaf this one isn't as crazy but then again this one is a little bit easier to trigger to see this one has like a really big meal but like usually it takes at least maybe a turn and you gotta hope that your opponent is like not just destroying it without flipping it face up and then silver martial leaf this can be like the arguably better excavation effect because like generally your opponents 
probably more likely to have monsters on the field, especially ones they wouldn't deal with. And even if they negate it, hey, they had to get rid of one of the negation bodies, so now they lose that negate. Um, yeah, and then also, like, you get to um, excavate two, just like the Cherub Sprout. Yeah, I think, like, the it's generally the one or two. This one only excavates one. This one's another one of those that only excavates one. Um, th though, when it is excavated itself, it does help stack your deck. Um, which, again, just like the Sprout, it's nice. Although, it does let you help... Um, does allow you to stack your deck with more targets. I mean, it, it, th there's a wider range of targets because this isn't just a Sprout card. This is any Sylvan card. So, even in a Spell of Traps, which I'm not sure if any of them, like, really care about getting excavated themselves. And I don't think they can either way because it has to be a plant monster. And, th and of course, the Sylvan Spells and Traps don't care. Um, aren't plant monsters, I'm saying. But, still... This one, yeah, generally the ones that are going to be milling more, uh, excavating more than two are going to be the ones that are a higher level. But that doesn't mean they're totally unplayable because, like, um, you could, like, um, always, like, special summon them out through other means. Or, like, with all your special summoning, you might just be able to get a tribute summon, like, um, on the first turn or something maybe i don't know um but it doesn't look like they have a ton of like um ways of like special summon them so you might just have to like tribute some of them out unless well actually the weak a few of the weakers can like bring can special summon them from the hand or that one weaker can so you can do it that way um yeah this one can excavate three and then when it itself is excavated, so at least they can also, like, even even if you don't want to bring them out, um, you can always just get the excavation effects as well. This one allows, uh, again, stacking a plant, but this time it's with any plant monster. Generally, I think it's a better idea with the Sylvans, though. So this is almost as good as the... Th this is about the same as Flower Nine, I guess. Because, like, if you're really only picking a Sylvan most of the time anyway, this already pretty much does that. Though there might be times when you want to pick one of your, um, Rikas. Oh, also, um, you can, um, pick an extract monster too. You just place it on the extract. It's, it's not going to help you with the excavation effects, but it helps you be able to, like, um, recycle your... Um, extract monsters, which that's also pretty nice. So that, um, so that kind of has like th that going for it. And then I think same as this one. Oh wait, no, this is like you. Oh, you basically search your deck and place on top. But um, this could be like, even though it doesn't actually search, place on top could be a better thing since now you can just excavate it. Anyway, um, and then, yeah, this should be from the graveyard, yeah, so, oh yeah, so this is from the deck and this is from the d graveyard, so that's where they're different. Um, and then Sylvan Sage, here, did I go over these? I'm, I'm gonna real quick make sure you saw those, okay, and then Sylvan Sage Quai, what, whatever, however you pronounce that. Um, ooh, this one it, it can just special summon itself. But to make up for the fact that it can special summon itself, it only excavates one. See, it seems like the ones that may be a little bit harder to bring out ex usually excavate more. Or the ones that like, are a little bit harder to um, get activated are the ones that excavate can excavate quite a few cards. Which I guess makes sense, because they don't want to just give you, like, free excavations of a lot of cards. Um, 
And then this one allows you to like add back a Sylvan spell or trap, so that's pretty nice. A way to fetch back a Sylvan spell or trap, so not just, so not all of them are just good for the monsters. Um. Oh, this one can allow you to stack your deck, um, a little bit. Like it's it's sort of, it's like a minor stack, but it's nice. Like, um. Like if you plan to use excavation at excavates less than three like this is nice to make sure that you're able to excavate a plant so that's cool this time you get to draw a card which is actually pretty nice so i guess it so i guess this one is a little bit hard to bring out and it only excavates one but to kind of make up for that it allows you to draw a card that's cool yeah see and then snowdrop is the one that allows you to special summon your high level sylvans if you wanted to so that's cool and then Sylvan Charity, drawing three cards, that's kind of crazy. Um, yeah, and then, but but you do place those, but you do have to place um, cards on the top of your deck. Like, as long as you have a Sylvan, like, this is going to be a pr pretty good, like, um, way of drawing three. This is kind of basically, a, like, a lower power... Um, Sayuja, the Skull Dread, that's easier to activate because, like, all you gotta do is just, like, activate it. So, like, you don't really have to put anything into it. Except maybe having a Sylvan in your hand so you don't just have to place everything on top of your deck in any order. Because that, generally, I don't think it would be very good. Um, and then Mount Sylvania is their field spell, but I see they don't, they aren't using tear forming. I'm not sure if they have any, like, really good way of searching it. Maybe a few of the X deck monsters. But, I guess they don't really need it. Like, this is just nice when they do have it. Allowing you to basically stack your deck with a Sylvan. So, kind of like Flower Knight, but doesn't need to be excavated in order to do that. So, like, you can just do this every turn, which is pretty nice. Um, and also allows you to get another excavation at the end of the opponent's end phase. That's cool. So you can... S hmm. That's not bad. But instead of having a place on either the top... On on the bottom, like you can't get to choose top or bottom. So if it's still a good card, if it wasn't a plant, you can still just choose to put it on top. So you can draw into it, basically. And if it was a really bad card, you can make it so maybe you could draw a better card. So that's cool. So there's also that 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 has going for it. And then this one is is kind of, ha, shares kind of like the last effect of this, but it's on trap card, so it's not like gonna be as we like. You're not using this effect as often, but still like, um, it does give you a bonus effect on top of it. Um, which kind of makes up for the fact that it can really only be used once. And the unaffected by card effects is pretty nice too. So it, it offers a special summon and protection to that special summon. Some of the best form of protection too. So basically you're able to make sure that whatever you want to do with the monster you're able to do. do. Unless they negate this card itself. And then if you, and I believe if you just keep it on the field, I think if you like use as material, you won't be able to place it on the top or bottom. But as long as you keep it on the field, you will. So I guess you gotta think about like if if it's worth it to you or not, like putting it on the top or bottom. Um, and then Sylvan Princess Sprite. Um. This is another one that allows you to excavate, but this one also helps out with your with getting your spells and traps too. Um, so, like unlike a lot of the other monsters, which basically don't really help you with your spells and traps, this one actually does. So it's pretty nice. Also has the additional effect of being able to special summon your Sylvans. So this also will help you special summon your higher Sylvans as well. So that's pretty nice. Um, 
Ray, I remember I already said about that, but these are going to even be even more useful in a Sylvan deck because they actually have a lot more um, versatility in a Sylvan deck. <clears throat> because the excavation matters a lot more, that's why. Um, but I still think it's probably best to just like, um, call the wrong card name on purpose. Because, um, you still get to, s because like, saying it to the graveyard is probably better anyway. Um, and you get a really good card effect. It's almost like they want you to call the wrong card name. Because, like, that, like, effect is to spin, to, like, um, spin a card to the top or bottom of the owner's deck. While also maybe getting an effect of an excavated card. Like, that effect's almost better than just simply adding a card to your hand. And then that's it. So, those last few I went over. Okay. So, um, there's the deck. I hope you enjoyed. That was the final deck for the, um, Rika solo mode gate. And I'll be going into the outro. But before I do, I would like to remind you all that, um, I will be putting the verse, um, down in the description along with that pinned comment. Like, um, for anyone who wants to share their thoughts on the verse. I want to, um, I'm planning to, um, share my thoughts at least once a week to give people inf inspiration on maybe what that could look like. I don't want to always be the first one commenting because that could, like, inspire people even more to be the first one. Um, anyway, um, thank you all for, um, watching the deck overview and th thank you especially to those who stay for the whole video and I'll be also putting this down in the description for those who may have not heard this little message okay now I'll go into the outro please like share and subscribe and consider ringing that notification bell for regular content you can either ring the notification bell to be notified of all my videos are personalized by simply clicking the notification bell and selecting all are personalized. All is being notified about all my videos whether you watch them or not and personalized is being notified of the videos that you watch the most. Also if you would like to leave a comment that would be greatly appreciated. Um, you can leave a comment about anything either pertaining to the video, pertaining to the verse I leave in the description, or just something random if you'd like. Just please keep it appropriate. You can even leave an emote if you would like, but just be aware that it may lock you out if you um, paste too many of the same emote in a day. Just in case, like, if you decide one day you just paste um, emotes on a whole bunch of my videos. Just keep that in mind. Um, usually you can fix that by either going with a different emote or by posting multiples of that emote um, instead of just the one. Um, um, th and thank you everyone who do watch... Um, my my videos and a big thanks to those who do um, watch all of my videos but still thank you to everyone who only watches um, a couple once in a while or just watches um, one one of the games I understand how it is no matter how you do it it just appreciated um, n no matter what, no matter how you decide to go about, um, viewing my videos.